DNS Zones allows us to create records and then have them hosted by specific DNS servers that will then respond to those records that we create. So if I go to the top and type in DNS Zones, then we see the option for DNS Zones. We also see the option for Private and Forwarding as well. But the standard DNS Zones can be easily created and managed. I'll click on Create and we have to choose our subscription and our resource group and here is going to be the zone itself now if i already have some zones and i'd like to create a child zone i can do that so for instance if i have ascendeducation.com i could create mail.ascendeducation.com or i could just type in the new zone that i'd like to create i'm going to type in techpub.us as my particular domain and i'll go ahead and choose next and I don't need any tags because I don't need to organize or bill anybody particularly for this. Click Next and then Create. Now it's creating my DNS zone. I'll click on Go to Resource once it's complete. And take a look at the name server. So we can see these name servers at the top are going to be automatically responding to this particular zone and any new records that I create. We see an NS record, which means name server record. And then we see the SOA or start of authority record. That means that I can actually make changes to this particular zone because I have the start of authority. And just like a zone in Windows Server DNS, I can go ahead and add records. So I'll click on plus record set and I'll give this one a name. I'll just type in mail and then I can choose the type of record. So I'll type in the name. We'll just type in web and it's going to be an A record, which is the alias record to IPv4 address. I can also choose the IPv6 address, but I have to type in an IPv6 address for that. And I can choose all these other records, mail records, name server records, things like that. Now I need to type in the address for this particular record. And I've typed in an address where I have no idea where it goes. And it automatically adds in a second box that you can add and you can point this same record to multiple different IP addresses. So I'll click OK. And now my A record has been created. Next, what I want to do is I want to create a mail record. So I'm going to first create the A record for mail. And click OK. And now I want to create the record where the, the email is going to go. So I'll go ahead and choose MX for my record. And I'm going to type in 10 for the preference because the lower the number, the higher the preference as far as delivery goes. So if I create another one that preference is 20 or 30, it's going to deliver to 10 first, then 20, then 30. I've added in the mail.techpub.us a record that I just previously created. And I've put in a star at the top, meaning that all email to techpub.us will go to this location. And I'll click OK. And now I can see all the different records I've created, as well as the records that were already in when I first created the zone. If I'd like, I can create a child zone here. A child zone is the same as a parent zone, except for you just add an additional name to the left of it, and then you can create another set of records with that if you'd like. Creating a DNS zone and DNS records in Azure allows us to point our domains to the location we would like for DNS resolution.